Hello friends, welcome back to the Craft Castle. My name is Ashley and I am a dummy. So recently I posted an unboxing video of the Caesar Juliet machine and I did like an unboxing like no other. I compared the Caesar Juliet to all of the Cricut machines. I even went into like what the machine differences are their program and I thought I covered everything and then it dawned on me as I pressed post on that video that I forgot one key feature and I had to come back. I had to do another video because this is something that is just mind blowing. It's something that every single Cricut crafter has been wanting for so many years and Caesar has made it possible for all crafters, all of them. So. Not only do I love their machines, I love the program, but then even more is the fact that I can save my SVG files. Now, the importance of being able to save your SVG files are two things. One, you don't technically need the Caesar Craft cutting machines to use their program to be able to save your SVGs. So what I did was, is I created these Valentines right here, but if you wanted to use your Caesar Craft cutting machine, you totally could, or you could export your SVG files and you can upload them into Cricut or your silhouettes or even your laser cutters. That's right. I could actually cut something like this on my laser cutter from using the Caesar Leonardo program to design it. The second and most important thing, a lot of crafters want the ability to sell your design files. And if you have a Cricut, unless you're doing a whole lot of workarounds, you can't because all your files are stuck inside Cricut Design Space and their cloud. So now if you use the Caesar Leonardo program with a click of a button, you're gonna be able to not only make them in other craft cutting machines, but also be able to sell your SVG files. And if there's anything that you need to know about me, it's that I am actually one of the top sellers on Etsy and my SVG files sell like crazy. And that is just passive income. So something like this that we created together in a previous video is now available to purchase in my Etsy shop. And that's just going to be passive income. And this is like, a what, how did I miss this? This is why I'm the biggest dummy in the world because I didn't talk about it in that unboxing video. Just now, we're going to talk about it and I'm going to show you how to do it. It truly is very easy. Let's get started. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start off where I left you at in the design process for this video. What I'm going to do is, is I am just going to delete everything but one Valentine. So I just have one Valentine right here. Now you could have kept all of them. I really personally don't think it's necessary. So I'm just going to do one. Now all I'm going to do is, is I'm going to come up here into file and I'm going to do export, export artwork. Okay, this box is going to pop up. Now I am going to only do the selected artwork. I'm going to include the cutting contours. That is going to get the holes that I have for this Valentine. I want to include those. If you uncheck this, what will happen is, is you will get a card that looks like this with no holes. So zero holes in the top. If that's what you want, you could, but I want these holes to be here. So when someone downloads my SVG file, all they have to do is slide into pencil and they don't have to do any additional work. So I'm going to include my cutting contours. Uh, I really don't think I need to change the DPI's. You totally could to a higher or lower setting. I'm not going to change my padding margins. Don't need to. Now right here, I'm personally going to save it as an SVG file. However, you could save it as a PDF. You could save it as a PNG, a JPEG, a TIFF. I'm going to save it as an SVG. Then I'm going to press save. We're going to rename this. And then you're just going to press save and then you're going to press save again. The Caesar is just going to do some thinking when it's done, you're going to have a saved SVG file. So at this point, let's just open up Cricut design space. Let's test this SVG file that I created within the Leonardo program. So I'm going to open up Cricut design space. I'm going to drag this over to the side. It's still thinking we're going to go over here into new project and upload project. Since this is still thinking, we're just going to go over here to upload image and we're going to wait for this box to disappear. When this box disappears, that means the saving is finished. Now that that's done, I saved my SVG file to my desktop. All I'm going to do is take this and I'm going to drag and drop it into Cricut Design Space. There is our image. We're just going to press upload. 
All right, now all we wanna do is click on the uploaded SVG file and press add to canvas. This is our SVG file. Now this is technically all a cut file. So if I wanted to turn this over into a print and cut, we're just gonna press flatten. And then we're gonna come up here to make. Eh, I don't need to save this. And there is our print and cut file. Isn't that so stinking cool? Now let's try it on my X tool because my X tool is a laser cutter. And like I did say, I could use these SVG files in my laser cutter. So let's test it out. We're gonna exit out of Cricut Design Space. And now I'm gonna drag and drop this into my X tool program. And look at that. With a click of a button, we now have a SVG file that is laser ready to be able to cut. This is, I cannot believe that I forgot about this in my unboxing video. This is like the key, key thing that makes Caesar, I mean, Caesar machines and their program is already amazing. But if you needed like another, like, hey, this is another reason, this is the reason. And I forgot it. And I'm the dummy. All right, y'all, I sure hope I inspired you to create and I'll see you later.